Okay, for this video, what I want to do is use a circle graph or a pie chart to help us find the cost of each of these categories um, based on the percentages for all of them. So the estimated cost to attend a particular university for in-state residents is 22134 So this is the total cost for the year. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the percentages to figure out what each of the costs for each of the individual categories is. Um, because of the fact that when you're dealing with percentages, a lot of times you have to do rounding in here. Um, so our cost may add up to a little bit more or a little bit less than this value. Like if you got really far off, that means you probably did something wrong. You plugged something in wrong, but we may end up with like a sum of 22,135 or 22,133 because of the fact that we're going to round. So for each of these, we're going to find the estimated cost to the nearest whole dollar. Okay, so our work, basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to each of our categories. So the first one we're going to look at is tuition and fees. So I'm going to come over here and find tuition and fees. So the tuition and fees is 27%. So if I take this, the 27% and write it as a decimal would be 0.27. And then I would multiply that by 22,134. Okay, so if I multiply this out, 0.27 times 22,134 gives me an approximate cost of $5,976. Okay, um, for the next category, what we have is books. So we're going to find books over here, and books represent 5% of our cost. So we would do 0 0.05 times 22,134, and to the nearest whole dollar, this is going to give us approximately $1,108 for the year. Okay, for the next one, what we're going to do is room and board. So room and board is this value right here. It's 45%. I know this color is kind of hard to see. I had a hard time finding um, colors that would work. So this was the best that I could get it to look. Um, so the room and board is 0.45 because it was 45%. And then we would just multiply it by 22,134, which gives us approximately... $9,960. So you can see that room and board is going to be the largest expense on here because it's the largest piece of the circle. Okay, um, moving on to transportation. Transportation represents 9%. Again, it's kind of hard to see that, but it is 9%, so 0 0.09 times 22,134 which is going to give us approximately $1,992. And then our last category is personal expenses. This might be like food or things that come up that you have to pay for personally. And so our last category is 14% of our expenses. So we would do 0.14 times 22,134 and we get approximately $3,099. And like I said, if I add this all up, this one actually ends up going up to $22,135, and that's because of the fact that I rounded. Anytime you round, um, it's going to change your value just a little bit. So if you want your answers to be more precise, you would use more decimal places. So if I rounded to the nearest cent, this would probably be a lot closer to the 22,134. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.